Oh, CJ, 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 fit check, fit check. Um, when you were in, uh, I got the greedies, I ripped the shit out of them. We're in the trout. No, you don't, you don't talk about that. You don't talk about oh, that. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all pixelated, my entire model. Uh, Do it outside, where it's not warm. These are all... Yeah, uh, I'm wearing, I'm wearing the, uh, I'm wearing the... Let's see what we got today. Oh, okay, that's true, that's true. Oh, Nigeria got like the worst. <laughs> yeah, Jonah pulled up the sun. It's like 8 a.m. in the morning. Doing a little show and tell. In the docks, huh? Yeah. So Jonah's like, he's been wanting to get into hey, boots. He's been wanting to get into boots, so. Wait. I think this is a good intro to boots. Alright, I'm gonna send Nico pictures. This is what this is what I used to look like when <laughs> Nico me met me. Alright. Those are pictures. Uh, so I need to get I need to get fresh. This is the start, I guess. Yeah. Great call in. Collaboration with Docs. Get the Bax Derbies. Yeah. Bax Derbies. Fourteen sixty one. Ooh. They feel like a glove, baby. Oh. Wow. They're just the Rick Owens. How do you feel? That's the most feel good. Do you feel? Uh. 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 uh, uh, uh like mega cheap. Yeah. That's a rip here though. That's okay. Fine. We'll we'll get it fixed. Yeah, you can it, it. Man, they look good. Yeah, they do. They're up there, you good. Yeah. Let's try them on, bro. 36. I think it's even probably like 34, so. Okay. Oh man. I love these helmet long jeans. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are vintage helmet long jeans, bro. Look at the watch. It's pretty good. Oh, they're good. And they're fucking huge. Yeah, I like it's kinda hard like to, big shit. It's kinda hard to find big helmet long jeans. Is that the style you're gonna wear it like this? <laughs> bro, it, it's sagging though. Look at look at how the look how the pant hit the shoe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's strong. It's good. That's how everyone's jeans are fit. While they're watching this, I'm gonna post like three more pictures of what I used to look like how? in high school. The good drip. Insert here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it looks sick, but I don't have these, bro. New clothes. The yeah. thing about like. Yeah, another thing about like helmet lane jeans is like a lot of them come from Japan because of the collectors and they fucking hem the jeans to be like 27 inch insane. Because because they're all like because they're all like that. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> they're just skinny and they're short. It does look sick on me. They actually look really good. Oh wow! Oh. What if they're, what if they're fake? They might be the fakest ones <laughs> I've ever seen. We no, they're real. There's like, cause you got them from like a retail store. Yeah, yeah they're on yeah. sale. Damn, let's check out the Rick Pack. Look, Fall Winter 23 Luxor. It's the collection. <laughs> Nylon's pretty nice, it's very dry. This nylon in particular. That well, was... got that fucking basket swing. Isn't these, it? Are, these are so <laughs> hard. <laughs> I wanna see That's them. what I like. We gotta see them with the derby though. Okay, okay, okay. That's crazy. You look, yeah, like, a, you look like a Final it's Fantasy not, character. Size 52. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, how are you gonna wear that? <laughs> Look, they're like, that's, they're past his... Well, you got high waist them, and they're, they're elastic, so, I you know. Do it, I have to do it, Alright, well, let's see. Yeah, you know, I've got the classic Rick pockets in the back. Let's see, let's see. see. Mm -hmm. detail. Nice. Yeah, they're just like the back derbies, though. I think they're bigger, no? They look huge. They look stomp like stompers, for sure. I think the sole is probably bigger. I never owned box. Honestly, it, like if the elastic makes it fit. Yeah. Like well, if you did the drawstring. Well, yeah, exactly. Is it done? Uh. Yeah, you tied it, dude. This is sick. You look like Sora. <laughs> no, he looks hard as fuck, bro. I know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit. Uh, like the more you wear it, the, the like more yeah. relaxes. It'll, it'll be it'll break in. It'll fit to you. Like, go again the side, the side profile. Oh, <laughs> it's crazy. It's like. No, I don't, I don't break it. <laughs> what do you want to wear today? This. Yeah. yeah. It's intense. <laughs> They're gonna be like, did you poo yourself? <laughs> Those are hard. Yeah, All right, successful. Yeah. Successful. Everything fit. Everything fit, bro. That's the last one. Oh, the last one. Maybe we can try it. Oh. Like, 
two racks. How much outfit cost? Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Why? This is a nice vibe. It is nice. But also, I have to pee. You want the full body? Yeah, I don't really care. It's okay, like well, nice I'm recording. You're so beautiful. <laughs> 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 But you know what I don't like? It's like when like there's like YouTube videos of someone like my outfit and then they're always like H&M, uh, uh, Target. No, they're just like lying. Oh, they're lying? Because they're like gatekeeping. It's like uh, everyone already knows what you're wearing. So you're going to do that? Yeah. Oh, Target. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, chat. What do we think about uh, Nick Nico's new haircut? Comment down below. <laughs> Comment down below what you think of Miko's haircut. Should I do it? You're destroying, <laughs> You're destroying the video. I, I don't even know what to talk about this, but... See, that's the thing, it's like, what do you... T today, guys, we're gonna get coffee. Today, guys, we're gonna, like... Did you have a fulfilling... <laughs> did you have a fulfilling Sunday service today? Yeah, I went to church. Because I'm a man of God. His name's actually His Paul, His name right? is Paul! <laughs> Pastor Paul. He's very passionate. He is. He Nico, Nico always says like he's always shouting yeah, at us. Yeah, he gets mad sometimes. It's funny. He, he, he got me to stop fooling around at church for a second. <laughs> for only one second though. And then it like, was went brief. back to it immediately. It and was it, a brief and intermission. And somebody was just like... Ugh. Yeah, because you guys are little hooligans. There's okay, little chat. children running around. Okay, I don't chat. think anyone's really cares. What do we think about Nico's haircut? Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Do these two look Wait, like brothers? Does the Vietnam place wasn't... What are you talking about? It's not, it's not, is it closed or open? It looks That's open. That's a different one. The one that we wanted to try is that one. But that one might have... We already got coffee though. But they might have the intense one. <laughs> that, that's a Vietnamese coffee shop too. Um, I made a, I made an error. Chattington City. Is this a dub? What does that mean? <laughs> Alright guys, these are the trousers I made. I get some W's in chat. Okay, so this is what it looks like on him. This is what it looks like on him. I like the pleading. Comment, I like comment who did it better. That's a, that's a dart, so you fucking retard. But they, in other description, <laughs> you say pleated trousers. Because there's pleats right there. What? Where's your pleat? Who did it better? Comment in the chat. Okay, that's enough. No more, no more YouTube for today. He was like, I've had enough. No more YouTube. I can only day. take God damn, it's really cold in my house. It's like 60 degrees right now. We're gonna talk about some pieces that I have. So starting off, we're gonna talk about this Helmet Lang vintage cotton, cotton twill, zip up work jacket, or just work jacket, or bondage blouse on. Whatever you wanna call it, I'll call it that. So it's in this cotton twill in an olive color or pale military green, whatever color you think it is. So it's got the interior backpack straps and it's done in the vintage cotton. Uh, it's a really nice washed, brushed and hand distressed fabric. It's hand distressed around the edges of the jacket. So the cuffs are always fraying. The collar is kind of fraying. Anywhere where like the edge, it's probably fraying. It's a super nice, simple jacket, but it's got really nice details that really like make it a super clean jacket. I've done a few repairs on it because like I said, it's like it's pretty old and it's been washed like 10,000 times so it's kind of falling apart in some places. It's kind of see-through in some places as well around the neck. So I'm trying my best to preserve the jacket. So I got a few repairs around the edges of the front patch pocket because it's like just falling apart there. So I reinforced the edges, uh, color matched the thread as best as I could. It's like a green, it's like a military green, but I think it actually makes the jacket look pretty nice. When you see these on secondhand marketplaces, a lot of the cuffs are like super frayed 
and mine isn't really that like frayed, which I like personally. I haven't been wearing this because it's like just super thin and it's also brown. I just probably, I just don't wear brown clothes that often. Uh, yeah, the cuffs, this cuff is reinforced because it was fraying way too much. I look like a homeless dude. And then the cuffs are double layered. So where that double layered top stitch is, it had to be reinforced because it, it actually just ripped on both sides. The back has no yoke, but it's got top stitching where the two helmet laying tags are and where that harness strap is. It's a really nice detail. It really completes the jacket without having a back yoke. It's just a nice little detail. That's it for the back. It's got the helmet laying jeans tag. It's got the made in Italy tag right here. And the vintage cotton tag is just like completely gone. So it's got the carrying strap right here. And it also has the two backpack straps. I personally would never, uh, I would never wear the backpack straps. You look too much like a head ass. If you wear it, in my opinion, you could wear it if you like, but not me. It's got these D rings to attach the carrying strap to, antique silver zipper, and that's it. I like the really pointy collar. It points at a very nice angle. It's got elongated arms, and like I said previously, double cuffed. It's a double, double, double layered cuff, so it drapes really nice when it's just hanging or when you're wearing it. Yeah, it's a super nice jacket. One of my favorites. This is the Helmet Lang Spring Summer 2000 Vintage Cotton Cotton Twill Work Jacket. Alright, this is the newest addition to the wardrobe. This is the Helmet Lang Autumn Winter 1999 Moleskin Astro Moto Jacket. Obviously, it's done in this tan color with the green contrasting Velcro. Yeah, it's like Helmet's second most iconic jacket besides the flak. So it's got the moto detailing on the arms here. It's got the darts on the arm for the articulation. It's got the zipper closure on the arms. It's got the double zip front zipper for, uh, you know, that writing action. You open it from the bottom while it's zipped up so you don't look like a fat. So it's labeled uh, vintage cotton as well. It's just a super nice jacket. It's padded, kind of insulated. It's got the backpack straps as well as the carrying strap in the center. Uh, just super nice. I got it for a really good price, really good steal. Couldn't pass up on it. It's missing the fur, but otherwise overall great condition. Yeah, I really like the moleskin. It's very robust and it's a very nice hand feel. It feels very suede-like. It's got two pockets on each side and there's zipper pockets because it's technically a moto jacket so your stuff doesn't go flying out. Uh, it has the drawstring, it's in one of the pockets, I just didn't put it back in from the previous owner, he just left it in the pocket. I don't really wear this, it's a size 50 so it's like Gigantamax on me. Fits my older brother better because he's taller and wider. I probably wouldn't wear an Astro jacket anyway, it's just like too fashion-y. Even if it was like black, obviously if I could get a leather one that would be super cool. But the moleskins are like my second favorite. Yeah, I'm trying to look for a fur on Yahoo Auctions, so if it pops up, I might buy it. It's like too hot in LA to even wear this jacket, so adding the fur wouldn't even help. It'd just make me happier to have like the complete ensemble for this jacket. But yeah, it's like a really nice jacket. I got it for a really good price. Helmet Lang, Autumn Winter 1999, Moleskin Astro Moto Jacket. This is a General Research 1988 Nietzsche shirt. I think it's the only way I would label it. It's just a black graphic tee. Single stitched. This was made in the 90s. Like I said, it's 1999. It's printed on a... It's printed on a Oneida blank. I always want to say Juanita because of the way it's spelled. I've never confirmed with anyone how to actually pronounce that tag. I'm pretty sure it's Juanita. Or, ah, shit. I'm pretty sure it's Oneida. I don't know. But it's like, it's a good blank. It's a good blank. I like this vintage blank. It's been washed a million times, so it feels pretty nice, but it's still pretty black. And I like the the graphic. I don't wear this because it's a tag size large, but it fits like an XL, bro. It's like huge. Single stitch details on the, the hems, just like, because it's a 90s tee. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good general research tee. It's really hard to find black, large to double XL general research tees. I have a few 
but this is probably my favorite. It has a quote from William Burroughs, the American writer, from an excerpt from Lust, from The Seven Deadly Sins. I'm not going to read it because it's too long. Also, I don't know how to read. Okay, the back just has this general research logo embroidered. I real, I wish that wasn't there, or I wish it was in black. And the back says Nietzsche is dead in German. Said God, I think, in German is the direct translation for that. Yeah, it's cool. It's a good piece. Big t-shirt covers uh, my entire body because it's huge. A little funny graphic with uh, some masks in the front. Some snow. Ma that's like a, like a that's like a winter military mask. I don't I don't know what that is. If you want if you want to read the quote from William Burroughs, I'll put it up right now. Yeah, that's the general research. 1998. Nietzsche tea. All right, alrighty, alrighty. Big piece, bro. Super super good piece. What the fuck? Alrighty, last piece I'm gonna talk about today. Is this Raph Simmons Spring Summer 2005 History of My World knitted tie? I'm a big fan of like archive designer accessories. Any any accessory I'll probably cop. Like I love hats. This is the only tie I actually have, and I've worn it a couple times. It's actually really annoying to tie because it's knit, so it, it doesn't really like slide through the knots super nicely. So it takes time to tie it, but. It, it's a really cool tie. It's very uh, it's very square in the front, as you can see, and it has the the R for rat embroidery on it. It's got the uh, spring summer two thousand five tag in the back, as well as uh, the made in Belgium tag. It's a super nice piece. It's the only tie I have, so if I have to wear a tie, this is what I wear. Holy shit, the lawnmower going crazy. Yeah. Like I said, I really love accessories. Any underwear, like how I'm underwear. Any any accessory archive designer, I'll probably cop because I, I love, like I love copying the mid. This is that mid that I really like. Yeah, not, it's just a black tie, a good tie. This is Raph Simmons, spring summer 2005 history of my world, knitted tie. That's all the clothes I'm gonna talk about today. I got some more stuff coming in, so next video I'll talk about. New pickups and stuff in my closet. I have so much helmet laying, it's like, it's not funny. Let me know if you have any qu- oh my god. That's all the pieces I'm going to talk about today. We'll cut to some other part of the video. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. I'll try to answer them in the next video, no doubt. Anyone made it this far, so. Thanks for watching. Now let's continue with the video. All right, Jack in the Box. See, you told me about the greatest burger ever known to man. They have a Smash Burger now. There's a bunch of like trendy Smash Burger places in LA. It's the hot thing. It's the hot thing, yeah. Like burger Shiro. What else? Easy Street and for the win. Undisputed King though. Jack in the Box probably has the best Smash Burger. Sleeper hit. <laughs> Hidden King. Yeah. So we're gonna try it. Huh? Sure. That's all I got too. And I was like, isn't it crazy that like back then, like just like McDonald's, like when like older restaurants, like regular, was just like that? I learned about it in the Instagram app. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look let's up any reviews. Let's see the Try it. <laughs> I feel like if, if I was like in a blind test, like corporate style, and they'd be like, which one's the Jack in the Box one? I'd be pretty good at it. Because it definitely does taste like, okay, this doesn't, there's something off here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Give it like a 6 out of 10. How much was that burger? Uh, 12 bucks. For the combo, it's 14 dollars. Holy shit. In <laughs> the sauces and they have real they're really funny. <laughs> what, the like main, what? The, the teriyaki sauce. There's teriyaki sauce as a dipping sauce and then they also have Jack's good good sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it's not focusing. I just opened it and I just got the whiff of it like a video. And it's not bad. 
know it, I know it tastes all right. <laughs> oh my god! For some reason, it's not good there, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I kinda like it. The sauce. Oh. I brought me up the taco, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Show it. <laughs> you gain that steam coming off of it too. Okay, so that's the meat, the little crust, and then the rest is like beans. So you get like one piece of meat. <laughs> yeah, you got like a sliver. Of you meat. get a sliver of meat. It's a little slit of meat. <laughs> and then the rest of it is yeah. beans. It's like beef fried beans. Ew. So this is definitely not in your top five fast food. What? <laughs> There's no way. It's like not even top ten. Do you like KFC more? KFC oh. is next. <laughs> <laughs> I've had KFC so long. Dude, I love KFC. What do you like at KFC? Just the chicken box. It's the fried chicken box. You guys grew up on Popeyes. My family did KFC. KFC is so much worse though. What do you mean, is though? it? What do you mean? I don't remember. KFC is coleslaw and mashed potatoes. Their sides are good. The they're, biscuit. Their sides are good, but their the actual chicken is like, I don't like that soggy like, skin. It's not great. The the original how's recipe. It, how's it even fried? It's crazy. Do you have extra crispy burgers? I know, but yeah, that's like an extra thing. It's not like the, the regular. Nico's a purist when it comes to fast <laughs>